Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Luke Ness Monster. Today we do have some Star Wars The Black Series and TVC news to go over. So if you are new to the channel, consider hitting that sub button. I do really, really appreciate it. It means the world to me. And I do want to thank everybody for all the recent support. We are actually doing a giveaway at 5k. If you are not subbed, please hit that sub button because you do have to be subbed to enter the Arc Trooper Echo giveaway. Basically how that will work. Once we hit 5k, I'll make a giveaway video. All you have to do is make sure you're subbed and then comment on that giveaway video to enter and I'll pick a random winner from the comments of that video. So yeah, super hyped for that. You do have to be subbed to enter though. So like I said, hit that sub button and also the like button also helps as well. Anyway, let's just jump right into the news. First up, Yakface on his Instagram actually teased this vintage collection logo, which is weird because it actually looks like the Book of Boba Fett logo and that is basically teasing the fact that Vintage Collection is going to be getting Book of Boba Fett figures and if I had to guess it means they're going to be getting it pretty soon which I am super hyped about. I'm, I mainly collect Black Series but uh, TVC has been doing really good lately and I cannot wait to see some TVC Book of Boba Fett figures. I think it's going to look great and uh, if I did have to guess they'll probably be released around the same time as the Black Series version. Anybody looking for Archive Wave 5? This is the Archive Wave with the 501st Trooper, Obi-Wan, uh, A New Hope Leia, and Revan. This wave has actually been hitting Walmarts a ton. I know just today I've seen a ton of posts on Instagram and other places saying like, hey, these are now hitting stores today. So if you are looking for this wave, check your Walmart because they might have just got it in stock. I am guessing this wave is going to sell out pretty fast, so I would check it as soon as possible. I don't normally cover Hot Toys news, but Hot Toys actually did release two brand new figures and they look absolutely incredible. First up is Captain Vaughn. This guy is absolutely incredible. I really do hope we get him in the Black Series one day, but yeah, this guy looks absolutely incredible. He comes with a ton of alternate hands, an extra hologram accessory, he has his jetpack, a ton of stuff that goes with him. He does look really, really cool and uh, yeah might be a definite pickup. I don't know yet. I don't really collect Hot Toys. I don't have any, but this one might be a first. And to go alongside Vaughn, we also have Arc Trooper Jesse, which looks absolutely incredible. The fa the face mold alone on this guy just is insane. It looks incredible. The tattoo is just really, really cool. And then the armor, it has like a really nice scuffed weathered look. It, it just looks absolutely incredible. I'm super impressed with how this armor came out. And uh, hopefully that means since they're making a new Arc Trooper armor for Hot Toys, that they'll go and look back into an Arc Trooper 5's and Echo because 100% I'm buying 5's, no questions asked. So, you know, Echo might take some... Uh, a little, a little motivation, but there's no question I'll be getting five. So hopefully they go back and decide to do fives because that'd be absolutely incredible. Over the last week, Walmart exclusive Rampart, Bad Batch Rex, and the Clone Shock Trooper all went back in stock at Walmart.com, and they have been shipping out very recently as well. And uh, the only problem is they go in stock at like 3 a.m., which is very, very unfortunate because... It means most people will be sleeping and don't have a chance to actually buy it. And the thing is, it's not even another pre-order. It's actually going in stock. So I know a ton of people that was able to get uh, Bad Batch Rex whenever it was in stock. And they've already received it in the mail. So, yeah, it's just very, very interesting. Hopefully that means since these guys are going in stock, they will be hitting stores pretty soon, though. And speaking of hitting stores, the Bad Batch Wrecker has actually been hitting Galaxy's Edge. So... They do look like they have a ton of figures there with Wreckers. So if you're looking for a Wrecker and you happen to be passing through Galaxy's Edge, go take a look at uh, the trading outposts and they might have it there. We actually do have images of the Black Series Nomad Boba out of box and without his cloak on. These are the first images that we've seen without his cloak on. And this gives us a little bit of better insight of what his armor looks like underneath and there is no armor of course it is just his like normal clothes underneath but i do think hasbro is going to reuse this mold pretty heavily i think they're just going to take the uh boba fett armor that we got with the deluxe return of the jedi version and put it over this i think it fits pretty well and uh like if you look at the actual photos of boba's armor this is pretty much what it looks like underneath so i would be pretty happy with them just throwing the different armor pieces on over top of this so hopefully they find a way to make it look good though and i i cannot wait to actually start seeing images of the book of boba fett boba fett figure which is really hard to say i know that sounds weird but you know you can always say like hey it's bad batch tech but it's book of boba fett boba fett it just sounds really weird 
We also have images of Bib Fortuna out of the box. This is the first time we're actually seeing this figure physically out of box because all of the promo images for this guy were 3D renderings, which is really, really weird considering that if they already have the figure ready and it's hitting Malaysia, why, or I believe it's actually Hong Kong, not Malaysia, but if they have these guys already hitting Hong Kong, then why didn't they show us actual images of the figure instead of 3D renders? So, I don't know, it's really weird, but we do have images of this guy, it does look really cool. The cloak actually does come apart in a really weird way. I mean, okay, it's cool, I guess. I mean, you can take it off. I don't know why you'd ever want to take it off, because this is what it looks like underneath. Very scary. He he has, like, a pretty uh, thick from the waist down. That sounded weird. He's uh, he's pretty bulky from the waist down, but from, the, the like, the waist up. It's super skinny, and it looks super strange without the cloak on. So I would 100% keep the, the cloak on with this guy, just so you don't have nightmares. The mystery holiday figure has actually been showing up in Walmart system, and as of right now, it is only one figure, so we don't know if we're going to be getting a whole new wave of holiday figures or if it's just going to be one figure, but it is showing up in Walmart system, so hopefully we're going to be getting this figure pretty soon considering that it's already a week into November. Um, I'd be, I, I mean, I'd hope they'd reveal this guy pretty soon, so if I had to guess, it's going to be at the next... Uh, bring home the bounty reveal which will probably be Tuesday the 9th if I had to guess um, just just so that they can actually get this guy hitting stores before Christmas if I had to guess and then last up the droids Boba Fett is actually hitting distribution centers in the US so that means it'll probably be shipping out here pretty soon if you did pre-order it and hopefully that means it'll go in stock here pretty soon as well for everybody who missed out on the pre-order this is one of the figures I had mixed emotions about. I didn't really like the figure that much because I didn't care about droids, so there wasn't that nostalgic factor for me. But in my opinion, the colors just don't look as cool. But on the other hand, I have every single other Boba Fett besides that one and the San Diego Comic-Con Kenner version. So if I want to get all the Boba Fetts, I have to get that one too. But <laughs> anyway, it's just my two cents thrown in. It hopefully will be shipping out pretty soon. So yeah, guys, that is going to do it for the video. Just a short little news video, a little update video. If you did enjoy the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And comment down below what your favorite piece of news this week was. I'll see you guys in the next video.